Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm Sam, creative director for Rococo. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through a full motion capture hardware setup using the Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2, Smart Gloves, our iOS face capture solution, and the Coil Pro. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here I am, I'm just in my home office and we'll start just by throwing on my smart suit and smart gloves and then we'll layer in the Coil Pro and some face capture as well. So first thing we need to do is just throw on the suit. And we'll see if I can do this without toppling over on camera, which is always, of course, the time when I choose to lose my balance. Okay, one foot in and throw in the second leg. So, oh, legs done. So the reason I like to show this process, you know, starting from zero, starting from not wearing the suit at all, is because how easy it is to pop into a suit and start recording motion capture, you know, how quick you can do that is a real advantage when it comes to Rococo, right? We try to create as little friction between having that idea of, you know, a mocap take that you need to record and then actually being able to just jump in record that take and keep moving with your real creative process, right? We want to eliminate all that friction. So, oh, boom, in my suit, feeling good. I'm going to throw on my gloves. And if you didn't know, the suit has sensors that are distributed throughout it. Those sensors talk to your computer over Wi-Fi. So there's no need for cameras or cables or, you know, lots of different extra extra stuff on top of the suit. You just need your suit, you just need a Wi-Fi network and your computer and, uh, and you'll be up and running. And the gloves plug directly into the suit, which is nice because it means we get one unified motion capture stream that's coming out of the system into the computer. Um, and it also means that we can power everything using a single battery pack. And if we, if I make myself a little bit smaller here so you can actually see the screen, What's going on, Rococo Studio? Once I plug in my battery, we will be ready to go because my suit will just populate right into the scene because I've used this suit with this computer before. Um, and the fact that it's an external battery and not an internal battery is really great because it means you never have to worry about charging your suit, right? So you don't have to worry about getting to set and maybe not having your suit charged, which is a nightmare, right? You just need an extra battery pack and you will never run out of charge. So I'll throw in my head strap, which has my head sensor. And there we go. If I'm not, you know, talking about what I'm doing, usually this whole process takes me about a minute, you know, maybe maybe two minutes if, if <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted, but it takes no time at all. So I just added an actor profile to the scene. You can see this little avatar. This actor profile has my measurements, um, which is great because you can have multiple actor profiles if you're working in a team. And then I will do just our th three second calibration pose. And you can actually make this pose shorter. I just like having it be three seconds because it gives me enough time to get into position. And there we go. We are up and running. It was super super easy to do this. And if that seems underwhelming, we've really worked hard to make sure it's as simple as possible. The other thing that I will say is that you can remove all the sensors from the suit. There's just zippers, which means that you can move the sensors to a different size suit if you're sharing the suit among team members. Um, or you can wash the suit if you're getting sweaty, making some motion capture, which uh, speaking of making motion capture, let's actually make something. So. I've got a Mixamo character right here. Um, this is just a standard Mixamo character. You can also import uh, Unreal rigged characters or iClone characters if you want to. Um, you, know, you don't have to import characters to make motion capture, but sometimes it's nice to kind of be able to get this visual feedback if you've got an, an oddly proportioned character or something like that. So let's actually record something and then we will layer in some coil and we will layer in some face capture and show you kind of the full setup. So let's do a little recording here. Do a little finger, show off these, these smart gloves capabilities. Yeah. And then of course, 
Do some jumping. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And if you could see a little wonkiness there, that's totally to be expected when I'm kind of jumping around and doing things like that, right? And that's because one of the one of the big advantages of Rococo, again, is that this is all real time, right? I get that visual feedback immediately, and that means that I can also live stream this data out in real time to Unreal Engine or Unity or Blender or whatever it is for virtual production or for VTubing or something like that. The limitation with it being real time is that you're not getting the full processing power of kind of our, our algorithm, our backend to make the mocap look as good as possible. To do that, we just need to actually go into a recorded clip and let's play it back. And typically there can be like a 30 second little cleanup process. So this, all this mocap looks great, looks super natural. I could go in and tweak it a little bit, but when we get to the jumping, we can make a few changes and we'll get a really great result here, right? And so, okay, there you go. A little bit funky, looks a little wonky. If you want to look down here, you can see that we have some circles around the feet, right? And a blue circle means my right foot is in contact with the ground. The green circle is my left foot in contact with the ground. And sometimes Rococo Studio just won't quite realize when my feet are actually in contact with the ground. So I can just do a quick edit here and you can see I don't actually land till here. So we just make a few adjustments. And if we change this up really quickly, make sure that Rococo Studio knows that my feet are leaving the ground at this point. <gasps> Jump right here, landing again. And we'll add another little keyframe, landing again. Boom, looks great. So now when we look at everything again, let's play it back. Right. And I could continue, I could, you know, spend another 10 seconds dialing this in a little bit more. It looks like I don't actually land till here. So we could just move this back a little bit maybe. And we'll get, right, an even better result. So that looks fantastic. So there you go, that's kind of how the mocap works on the back end. And again, this is the very standard part of Rococo motion capture, right? That, that cleanup process. So now what I'm gonna do is layer in some face capture and let's take a look at how that works. So I'm just going to hide my character here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna grab my head rig. So we have an iOS and an Android face capture solution. I'm gonna be using the iOS solution, which just uses an iPhone that is mounted using our head rig. This is just an iPhone holder, essentially. And the way that I'm gonna get this to work is I'm gonna take off my head sensor, pull off my headband. You can see it looks a little bit funky. Throw on this head rig, tighten it up on my head, boom, feeling good. Then I will take my iPhone and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm actually recording the screen so that you can see what's going on on the screen. I will open up the Rococo face capture app. So this is just on the app store for iOS. Hit allow and woo, you can see that my face pops up into the screen here. And I will put my phone into my mount Looks like my hair is a little bit crazy, but that is the price you pay for good motion capture sometimes. And I'm gonna put my head sensor attached to the top of my head rig. And then I'm going to drag on my face capture and I will do another three second calibration here. Try and position myself so you can actually see my face. Wow, there we go. And let me just zoom in a little bit and yeah, looking great. This is running off of the Apple uh, AR kit, uh, iOS blend shapes. Um, and while again, it's not the highest fidelity facial motion capture, you know, possible, um, it is 
really great. And you can get some really expressive stuff out of this system and and it's very versatile and again easy to do as a solo operator so that is the smart suit pro 2 smart gloves and our ios system for face capture all working together now let's layer in the coil pro and before we turn on the coil pro let me show you what the coil pro brings to the table so inertial motion capture means that the sensors in the suit they don't actually know where they are in space they know that they're rotating but they don't know where they are in space and that means that when we do things like this I'm trying to show you here i'm clapping my hands we will get issues where the hands are not perfectly aligned and that's typical and it and and to be honest it's totally fine because motion capture editing especially at a high level is something you're always going to need to be able to do um, so so small changes like this aren't aren't a huge deal and if you're doing things where you don't need to you know clap your hands oftentimes you don't need to do mocap editing but because you are putting this motion capture on a character that has different proportions from the actor you know things like this for handling two-handed props you're always going to need to touch uh in mocap editing in post to get it looking really great now this is because this is an inertial motion capture suit but with the coil we can add an emf field that knows exactly where in space our hands are and that means that when we do things like clap or handle two-handed props our hands will actually be in the right position and that's really key if say you need to have high fidelity in real time you know for a live performance say you're a drummer or something and you're on stage um, and you want your hands to be in exactly the right position or you have multi-actor interaction where you want you know someone to throw a punch and for someone to block that punch the coil is is a great solution for things like that and it just it just increases the fidelity of the motion capture so it's also just a good thing to layer in if you want to make your life a little bit easier on the back end so let's actually turn on the coil here and i will just plug it in grab my coil you can see i've just got it off to the side as soon as I plug in my coil, it will, yep, show up in our scene uh, once it detects my smart gloves. And I will do another calibration pose here. <gasps> Orbit around a little bit so you can see what's, what's going on. And now when I do my claps, <gasps> this let's zoom in so we are look at that right in the right spot and our hands are actually you know where they should be and that is great when we're doing things again like prop manipulation our hands will actually be in the right spot I'm gonna draft my dog here this is a really great example of what the coil is doing, right? This is something that uh, traditionally with volume motion capture, the, the dog would be blocking, you know, where my hands are. And we would have an issue with occlusion because the cameras wouldn't be able to see my hands. But with the coil, you get that volume level accuracy. Um, but the camera, you know, there are no cameras and, you know, you have no issues with occlusion. Um, and my hands are actually in the right spot and bocce oh, can be a part of the motion capture journey. So there you go. This is the full Rococo Studio hardware setup uh, with SmartSuit Pro 2, Smart Gloves, Face Capture, and Coil all running together. What do you think, bocce? Not bad? What do you think, pup? You got anything to say? You want to know more? I encourage you to book a free demo at Rococo.com. A chance for you to speak with a live person, ask them any workflow questions that you might have, and also get a live personal demo of all the tools that we looked at in this video. And I'm also live almost every Thursday on YouTube at 11 a.m. PST. 
doing live demos, getting into it and answering workflow questions as well. So hopefully you found this video interesting and helpful and you can find out more about the Coil Pro and our high-end workflows at Rococo.com. Okay, see you in the next one.